we are doing this thing in the math called the Math Hub. Here, we have two different classes integrated together so that we can learn things within groups and partnerships so that we can learn. The Math Hub is where you get to choose your idea of what you want to do in that class. And then you go out and do them for a certain amount of time and you learn whatever you chose. I think that if we want students to step up, then we have to step back. So if, if you were to ask the question of how personalized learning finds its expression in the high school, um, that answer would lead you to the Math Hub. What we have in the Hub is an opportunity to transfer agency for learning and ownership of learning from the teacher to the student. In order to do that, uh, students need to be taught to learn how to learn and that means beginning with the critical questions of what do I want to learn and how will I know when I get there. A student comes in, they go to a form, it's called Math Hub Daily Choices, and then they open up something called a learning menu. So on the learning menu there are minimum of 10 choices, um, again, where students can pick if they want to be introduced to a topic, if they want to investigate it, if they want to just practice a skill, if they want to extend their learning by going deeper, doing further investigation. So they look at all the choices and then they come back over to a form and then they let us know uh, who they want their role to be as a learner that day. Do they want to receive help? Do they want to give help to others? Do they want to be neither? And just do their own thing. And then they select up to three choices uh, because some students work faster than others. Uh, what we typically do is two 30-minute sessions where a student does one activity for 30 minutes and then we'll transition and they'll do another activity for another 30 minutes. So that is the club experience in a nutshell. I like that I can learn uh, three different things at, uh, well not at a time, but like I can focus on uh, three different things for, for some time. Kind of stuff that, I, that could be my weak point or stuff that, I, uh, that I'm good at and I, I want to go further. And so, beginning with inquiry, the student comes into the hub, asks himself what it is that I need to learn today, and identifies areas uh, in need of more attention or areas that he's already mastered and can move through more quickly. This is really the essence of the learning process at ICS, beginning with inquiry, action, and reflection. At the end of the session in the hub, for example, the student will reflect and say, okay, did I meet my targets today? How far did I get? In what areas do I need to spend more time and in what areas that have I mastered and will that allow me to go on to further uh, deeper challenges?